Okay, so here's Johnny Hustle, and I picked this. They, they, they just showed this at Wrigley, and it got out, but it barely cleared the fence. It's certainly not his best shot, and, and you can see that it, it's, it's not perfect, but it shows when we were fundamentally doing things well, um, <laughs> you can still have a great deal of success. So if we watch him on the left-hand side, they showed the replay from two different views on the network. Number one, look at the rhythm with his stride. Right? See how there's no hanging, there's no hovering. It's one nice smooth motion down. Okay? As we look at it from here, from the front view, let me try to roll this. You can see how it's one nice smooth motion. One nice smooth motion. One nice smooth motion. Now I think he might have been a little bit out in front. You can kind of see by his posture there. But as you look at it from the side, at toe strike, everything is still back. Now Manny is not a guy that goes really back with his hands on his stride. But you can see here, as he hits, he's immediately engaging a turn. You can see it right there. And that's where you really see the stretch uh, with Johnny Hustle right there. You can see how far back his hands are as he's already turned to the ball. Even though he's not the traditional sense of going back with his hands, and I think he was a little bit out in front, you can still see that his swing generates that much of a stretch. Not something that we can really see from this side, but you can still see how much he's turned before his hands come into play. So now, by getting that good lower half to bring the bat to the ball, even though his stretch isn't early in his swing, his stretch is more there in his swing, we can see the efficient path that his hands take to the ball. And what I wanted to show you here is by doing things right early, look how he's able to stay down through extension and not roll over. Stay down through extension and not roll over. That's unbelievable, right? And so even when our timing's not perfect, again, this only went 387, and considering your average major league home run is 400 feet, I don't think his timing was really on this Lester fastball. There might have been a cutter. But still, by not having anything come forward there, and engaging his lower half immediately to the point where it creates that separation there, he's able to take his hands straight to the ball as the backside releases, and then stay down through extension. As we saw here, staying down through extension without rolling over.